Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds here. I'm sure you've noticed lately how many I2C devices we've been releasing, most of them including our quick connectors for fast and simple prototyping. I2C is a great protocol as it allows you to connect over 100 sensors using only two pins of your microcontroller. I mean, four if you count power and ground. Now, the one snag you may come across is if you need to use multiple sensors with the same address. To help you work around that issue, we're happy to bring you the new SparkFun Quick Mux Breakout V2. Now, for those of you who aren't quite sure what a Mux is or does, I'm going to let Cartoon Rob give you a brief overview. A multiplexer, or Mux, takes multiple inputs, in our case from items with the same I2C address, and outputs them one at a time on the same line, or bus. Suppose I have a friend named, oh, Langdon, who lives at a certain address. If I need to ask him a question, I just go to that address and ask him. Hey Langdon, what's the humidity right now? It's 27.8%, Rob! Sweet, thanks! But what happens if I have more than one friend named Langdon at that same address? Hey, it could happen. Well now, I need a multiplexer. What the multiplexer on the Quick Mux Breakout does is give each of your friends with the same address their own room, and then queries them each, individually, in rapid succession. Hey Langdon, what's the humidity? It's 26.9%. Okay, thanks. Hey Langdon, what's the humidity? 27.9% here. Okay, thanks. Hey Langdon, what's the humidity? Yo, 28.1%, dude. Thanks. Hey Langdon, what's the humidity? It's 28.9% right here. Okay, thanks. And that is what- Right down in the hall out there. Matlock's on. And that is what a multiplexer does. So there you go. Pretty simple, right? Now let's take a closer look and see just what the new Mux V2 has to offer. This updated version of the Quick Mux Breakout uses the TCA9548A multiplexer. It keeps the eight separate channels, each with its own quick connector, but there's now an additional quick connector with a pass-through trace. This bypasses the MUX and allows you to continue to daisy chain other quick boards or even additional MUX boards. And since three address jumpers on this breakout give you the option of eight configurable I2C addresses, you can get up to 64 I2C sensors with the same address on a single bus. It has an operating range of between 1.65 and 5.5 volts, but since the MUX breakout is run completely via our Quick Connect system, that mischief is managed. A cartoon Rob used humidity sensors in his example because the SHTC3 humidity sensor has a fixed I2C address. So if you needed to use multiples of that sensor, you'll need a MUX. Now why might you need multiple humidity sensors in a single project? Well, say that during this stay at home, your new and delicious hobby is making bread. After you get past the basics, you're gonna to wanna to branch out, get more creative. And once you start mixing the art and science of it, you'll realize that humidity plays a really important part in the fermentation process. So say you're making a chapati, a khala, and a kachapuri all at the same time. You're gonna want very specific humidities in each section of your proofing cabinet to make sure they come out perfectly. Or perhaps you need to use both visible light and near-infrared spectral sensors to detect certain toxins in blood samples. Now, both of those sensors share a single I2C address. If you want to use them concurrently, guess what? You need a MUX. So come get your MUX. Come get eight MUXs and run up to 64 sensors with the same address. Do it all with the new SparkFun Quick MUX Breakout V2. Grab yours over at sparkfun.com and remember, stay safe, be kind, and happy hacking. Hi there, Spark fans. Rob Reynolds. I probably don't have to say that again, right? Cartoon Rob used humidity sent sent said that's all folks. It has an I squared C fixed fixed I squared C stuff. At home, your new hobby is making bread. Quick Mux breakout V2. So close. Open 5.5 volts. Bolts? I'm gonna go with volts. That'd be delicious and fun. Okay, again, again, here we go.